This is PNS 1 and 1 Engineering Economy, Module 3, Simple Interest. So welcome to the third module of this course. And for this lesson, we will be discussing what is simple interest and its applications. So by the end of this module, you should be able to define what is simple interest and solve uh, problems involving simple interest. Now, interest. Interest is the amount of money paid for the use of borrowed capital or the income produced by money which have been loaned. So, yun yung interest. So, alam naman, alam naman natin kung ano yung interest. Now, what is simple interest? Simple interest is calculated using the principal only. So, you ignore any interest that had been occurred accrued in the preceding period. So in practice, simple interest is paid on short terms, short term loans in which the time of loan is measured in days. So short term siya na loans, that's why usually hindi siya umabot ng one year, like seven months lang, three months. So that's why uh, you calculate simple interest using days yung um, uh, periods niya. Now, interest is P is the principal, is the principal, N is number of days, and I is the interest rate. So, interest, principal or present worth, number of interest periods, which is in days, and rate of interest. Ito yung is the amount na na gain in borrowing money. So, that is interest. So, so, future worth means yung naging um, yung actual na babayaran say kung nag-loan ka ng 1,000 yung interest niya is yung nadagdag sa 1,000 but future worth is kung ano yung naging um, total amount yung 1,000 after nung interest period. So, that is um, principal plus the interest is equals to P plus P and I. So, um, factoring out the P where F is the accumulated amount of future worth. So, ito yung formula natin for simple interest. Future worth is equals to the present worth or the principal amount times 1 plus N number of periods times the interest rate. So, there are two types of simple interest. First is the ordinary simple interest where it is computed in the basis of 12 months of 30 days each, which is 360 days a year. So, fixed na to siya. So, um, fixed siya na in a one month merong 30 days. Even though in actuality, merong 28 days, um, 30 days siya ka, 31 days. So, dito naman sa exact simple interest is based on exact number of days in a year, which is 365 kung ordinary, ordinary year and 366 days kung leap year. Meaning, Kino consider na na yung January is 31 days, yung February is 28 days, so the other months are 30 days. So yun yung exact simple interest. So mini basing ko ng exact number of days sa isang year or sa isang month. So that is one interest period is 365 or 366 days. Okay, so let's have some um, illustrative problems. Determine the ordinary simple interest of eight, uh, 700 pesos for eight, 8 months and 15 days if the rate of interest is 15%. So, gagamitin na natin is ordinary simple interest. So, first is you compute the number of days. So, yung N. So, meron tayong 8 months. So, 8 months times 30 days plus 15 days. So, this is equal to 255 days na interest, uh, number of interest period. So, so I is equal to P and I. So, ang, ang question lahat is determine the ordinary simple interest. So, yung principal amount natin is 700 
times 255 over 360 days. So, since hindi siya umabot ng one year, yung interest period natin, so, didupay natin siya ng total number of days sa isang year. So, that is 255 days. So, 360 kasi, ordinary simple interest, multiplied by 15% na interest rate. So, I is then equals to peso siya, 74.38. So, ang nag-gain na interest ng 700 pesos after 8 months and 15 days is 74.38. So, kung magbabayad na siya, for example, simply P plus I, so magiging 700 plus 74.38, so magiging 774.38 pesos yung babayaran niya. So, say using isang formula, 1 plus N I. So, meron tayong 700 times 1 plus um, 255 over 360 times 0.15. So, same pa rin yung answer. So, you can use either of the formula. So, that is for um, example number 1, ordinary simple interest. Next is exact simple interest. So, determine the exact simple interest on 500 pesos for the period from January 10. So, meron. Usually, pag exact simple interest, na-specify yung kung ano yung month, kung ano yung day, dun sa month, and kung ano yung year. Kasi, ikaw consider mo kung leap year ba yun na year or kung anong date na uh, nag-start at saka nag-end yung um, load or yung hiniram na money. So, uh, of the year 1996 and So, 1996 is a leap year at 16% interest. So, solution. So, isa-isahin natin yung uh, month. So, sa so January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. So, sa so January, 1996, If you were to check it sa calendar, merong, so from um, January 10 to January 31, meron tayong 21 days na remaining. So, ex of course, ex excluding yung um, January 10. So, February, leap year, meaning 29 days in February. March is 31 days. April is 30 days. May is 31 days. June is 30 days, July is 31, August is 31, and September is 30 days, and then until October 28, so 28 days. So a total of, so ilang days yun lahat? 292 days. So meron tayong 292 days. So the exact simple interest 500 pesos multiplied by the PNI. So, merong 292 days over 366 kasi leap year times 16%. So, merong I is equals to 63.83 pesos. So, Maliit lang siya kasi 500 lang yung principal amount. So, what if 500,000 na, di ba? So, malaki-laki na din yung interest niya. So, yung future worth niya is magiging, so you simply add the principal plus the interest niya. So, equals to 0.83. So, yan yung um, babayaran, ibabalik na amount after the um, set date na kung kailan siya babayaran. So, in, the, in this case, um, October 28 of the same year, 1996. So, so, next. So, what will be the future worth of money after 14 months if the sum of 10,000 is invested today at a simple interest rate of 12% per year? So, ano daw yung magiging amount 
yung future worth ng 10,000 if invested at simple interest at a rate of 12% for 14 months. So that is 1 year and 2 months. So yung formula natin, future worth is equals to P times 1 plus and I. Yung principal natin is 10,000. 1 plus. So yung N natin is, so since in months siya, so meron 14 months over 12 months and a year. So um, N here is always computed, computed in terms of year. So kailangan i-convert mo yung days or yung months in a year. Times 0.12, which is the uh, rate, 12%. So magiging... 11,400 pesos. So, yan yung amount na babayaran after 14 months. So, what if 1 million yan? So, so malaki yung interest niya. So, yan yung simple interest. So, simple pa siya kasi simple interest. So, pero sa mga following na mga um, interest calculations is uh, madali na maintindihan. So, cash flow diagram. So, what is cash flow diagram? So, a cash flow diagram is simply a graphical representation of cash flows drawn on a time scale. So, kung sa economic analysis problems, mayroong cash flow diagram, mayroon namang free body diagram for mechanics problems. So, yung FBD. FBD. So, just like FBD, magkita din yung Ano yung kung sa FBD, magkita mo yung magnitude, yung direction ng force. Sa cash flow diagram, magkita mo kung, kung ano yung um, flow ng, ka, ka, yung cash flow. So, either positive or negative. So, positive means it is a receipt. So, in your perspective, kung ikaw yung um, nagpahiram, say, ikaw, yung, ikaw yung banko, ah, say, no, ikaw yung nanghiram, yung receipt is positive cash flow. So, yung na-receive mo yung money, positive. Pag, pero pagbabayaran mo na is, uh, or disperse mo na, it is a negative cash flow. So, so uh, sa mechanics, merong convention yung moment. So, if either uh, clockwise or counterclockwise. So, depende sa pipiliin. But in our case, dito sa cash flow diagram, say yung receipt, receipt is um, downward yung arrow. So, parang papasok dun sa bulsa. So, parang ganun. And then, um, negative cash flow or disbursement is um, upward. Upward. So, parang palabas, you know, palabas sa'yo or palabas sa bulsa mo. So, yun yung magiging convention natin. So, example. Example. A loan of 100 at simple interest of 10% will become 150 after 5 years. So, so, sa perspective ng lender o yung nagpahiram, yung 100 at first is, so meron tayong 5 years daw. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 years. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, in, sa lender, sa, perspect, sa perspective ng lender, yung 100 is, disbursement siya. So, siya yung nagbigay ng 100. Meaning, merong negative na um, cash flow. So, this is 100 pesos. Now, after a year, babayaran na sa kanya nung nanghiram, which is magiging positive naman na cash flow. So, magiging 150. So, that is in the uh, perspective of the lender. So, so, perspective naman ng borrower, so, kung ikaw yung nanghiram, so, merong 5 years. 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, sa perspective mo, nanghiram ka ng 100, meaning positive sa'yo yung cash flow kasi na-receive mo yung 100. But after 5 years, babayaran mo siya sa so magiging negative cash flow na sa'yo. So, that is, so yung simple uh, explanation nung cash flow diagram. So, uh, 
um, katulad ng ES, ENS 161, hindi, hindi, um, I mean, hindi siya, mas, hindi kayang masolve, but much better na when you are solving economic problems or economic problems, may uh, corresponding na um, cash flow diagram kasi mas maintindihan ninyo yung problem. Lalo na kung maraming involved na money, say, after 5 years, after 3 years, nag-withdraw, nag-deposit, so yun, so, uh, medyo may mga complicated na problems, so kailangan yung cash flow diagram. Okay, so, assessment question, so I want you to answer this, so I'll be posting this sa Google Classroom na rin. So, first is, a loan of 2,000 is made for a period of 13 months, so nag-loan siya ng 2,000, babayaran after 13 months. So, in 13 months, 13 months na yun is from January 1 to January 31 the following year. So, it is a simple interest rate of 20%. So, what future amount is due at the end of the loan period? So, ano yung future amount? So, yung, yung F. Second is, determine the exact simple interest of 5,000 pesos from period January 15 to, Jan to November 28, 1992. So, Tingnan nyo ano yung 1992. Normal year siya or leap year. So, and the interest rate is 22%. So, in this case, hanapin nyo yung exact simple interest, yung I. So, that's it for module 3. Um, references, yun yung references natin. So, this is the end of module 3. And thank you for listening and have a good day.